Today I'm going to show you two very easy ways to create GitHub Action CI workflows for .NET applications without writing a single line of YAML. This is a 3 Minutes Friday. Hey, welcome back to Code Dave, where we talk about DevOps, especially with GitHub and Azure DevOps. And today is a 3 Minutes Friday, which means short videos, big value, hopefully. Today I have for you, as I said in the beginning, two ways to create CI workflows in GitHub Actions that actually doesn't require you to write any YAML, and this is true for .NET applications. By the way, I'd be curious to know how you currently create your GitHub Actions workflows files. Uh, so let me know in the comment section below if you do it perhaps in the GitHub UI, or if you use VS Code maybe with some extension, or however you do it. Anyway, getting started with uh, GitHub Actions and their YAML may not be very easy at times, and also, you know, we are all lazy, especially considering the other options we have, especially for .NET application, like the, you know, right-click publish in Visual Studio. Wouldn't it be nice if we could do the same thing for creating GitHub Actions? Well, let's start the clock and get into it. The first tool we are going to take a look at is integrated into Visual Studio, so it works only on Windows, while the second one requires the use of the .NET CLI and therefore can be used also in Linux and macOS. But let's jump into VS first. I have my solution open here in Visual Studio, and in this case, it's uh, ASP.NET application. And as you can see, I don't have currently any GitHub Action file in there. So let's create one. Let's click on the project name with the right click and select Publish like we would do to publish directly to our target. Let's select Azure. And let's say we want to deploy to an Azure App Service. We'll just have to select the App Service you want to use as deployment target. And here, as you can see, we have deployment type. I could deploy directly, as I would always do before. But now I can also create the YAML file for GitHub Actions. If I click on this and I click on Finish, in just a few seconds, you will see that Visual Studio will generate for me the YAML file for my GitHub Actions. We can see that Visual Studio has created this YAML file. And if I open the folder where my application is, you can see that now we have this .github folder, workflows, and our YAML file inside. I can try and open this up. And here you see we have a complete GitHub Actions workflow created for us. If you're not able to see the deployment type menu in the publish process, just go to Tools, Options, and under Environment, Preview Features. And in here, you should see that the GitHub Actions support in publish is checked. Cool, right? Let's move now to the second method I have for you. But before we do so, I would really appreciate if you can like this video so more viewers can benefit from it. Thank you. As I've said, the second way I have for you to generate GitHub Action workflows without writing YAML is using the .NET CLI. From within the root folder of my application, I can use the .NET new command with the additional workflow command. As you can see, I do not have the new workflow template installed because it doesn't come by default with the .NET CLI. Try and search it, and you can see that we can find it under timhuer.gitabactions.templates. And we also have the detailed instructions on how to install it. So I'm going to do it right now. I apologize with Tim if I don't get his name right. And now that it is completed, as you can see, we have this new workflow command here available for us. So let's try and use it. So once again, .NET new workflow. Again, remember to do this in the root of your application. You see, it took just a few seconds. We now have this GitHub folder over here. And once again, we have this YAML file that is being created for us. Let's open this up. And here we go. Keep in mind that, of course, this is a starting point, And it's not going to do everything you might want. But it's a solid base to build from. All right, let me know down below what you think about these features. And also, as I mentioned before, uh, comment down below with the actual way you currently use to create your GitHub Action workloads file. And also, speaking of GitHub Actions, check out this video over here in which I tell you how to create and use templates in GitHub Actions. But that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I see you in the next video here at Coded Dave.